Tudor Tales Part 3, The Prince, the Cook and the Cunning King. Chapter 4, The Midnight Meeting. That day I learned my duty as kitchen maid. I scrubbed pans with sand and I swept the floor. I made bread till my arms ached and I carried buckets of water till my shoulders were numb. We had bread and cheese for lunch, but Cook didn't eat with us. He disappeared into the pantry for two hours and came out with food dribbling down his chin, looking sleepy. Then it was time to make the evening meal for the king and his court. Cook breathed over me. If you work hard, one day you may become a serving maid and get to see the king. One day. I saw him sooner than that. I sank into my straw that night as the clock struck eleven. I dozed a little. I heard the bells chime midnight. That was when the guards came for me. They came quietly with a horn lantern that barely lit the bat black night. Oops, that one. one of the men, the tall one, pressed a hand over my mouth as a sign that I should make no sound. The horses stirred in the stable below as I groped my way down the stairs into the freezing courtyard. We entered the kitchen into air that was thick with stale food and smoky smells. The guard opened the lantern and led me up the stairs. I was so tired I could hardly drag myself on. At last we came to the massive doors that led into the great hall. The room was warmed by a big log fire that lit the room too. The high carved thrones were empty. But a man in a dressing gown sat in front of the fire and smiled a thin-lipped smile into the flames. The tall guard spoke for the first time. Your Grace, we brought you the girl. The man turned and waved a hand for the guards to leave. He grinned at me. His teeth were black with rot. It wasn't a pleasant smile. Come in, Eleanor, and warm yourself. I dropped a low curtsy to Henry Tudor, King Henry the Seventh of England. Thank you, Your Grace, I said humbly. He gave a short laugh. Eleanor, my dearest niece, you must call me Uncle Henry. Chapter 5, The Crafty King. How was your work in the kitchen? King Henry asked. It nearly killed me, Uncle, I groaned. I stretched and yawned wearily as I sat on a bench at the fireplace. He nodded. But no one suspects you. They all believe you're just a common serving girl. Yes, Uncle, we've fooled them, I said. No one could guess I'm Lady Eleanor, Tudor of Pembroke and Wales. Good, he said, rubbing his hands in front of the fire. Then you are the perfect spy. We Tudors must stick together. I can trust no one outside of my family. There are thousands who want me dead, you know. Dead as a duck's toenail. The king stroked the fur collar on his gown and the collar moved. It was a small brown monkey. It looked at me, then went back to sleep. There are rebels and traitors everywhere. Small brown monkey. Okay. Yes, uncle, I know, I said. Mother had told me of the danger. If Henry Tudor lost the throne, then our family back in Wales would suffer too. They might even kill us the way they killed the princes in the tower. Have you met Lambert Simple Simnel? Yes, uncle. Did your mother tell you about him? Yes, uncle. Lambert says he's Prince Edward, but really he's an organ maker's son from Oxford, I said. The real Prince Edward is still locked in the Tower of London. The king stroked his long chin. He may look a little bit like Prince Edward. The trouble is my enemies put a crown on Lambert's head and sent an army from Ireland to kill me. But you won the battle and captured Lambert. You made him a kitchen boy to show what a good, kind king you are, he said. Yeah, you can see his long, pointy chin there. I did. There are still people who think Simple Simnel could take my throne. There's only one person who really knows for sure who that boy in the kitchen really is. And that's the boy in the kitchen. My uncle was quivering with so much rage that the monkey on his shoulder stirred. You can just see the monkey on his shoulder there. Now he's afraid, so he says he's not Edward. First he is, then he isn't. What's the truth? I'll find out for you, uncle, I promised. What will you do if he is the true king? 
Uncle Henry blinked in surprise. Why? Have him killed, of course. More tomorrow. <laughs>